Hi, my name is Dylan and today our episode will be on mangroves. We're off to the mangroves in Linton Bay, Panama to see what the mangroves are about. Mangroves are the only trees in the whole world that can tolerate salt water. Mangroves cannot be planted, they must occur naturally. This is a baby mangrove, which one day will hopefully grow to fill up this whole beach. Mangroves come in a variety of sizes, between 2 to 10 meters tall. There are estimated to be 50 and about up to 100 species of mangroves. This variety is called the red mangrove. Sea level rise is changing where mangroves can grow and threatening their existence. Impenetrable roots are vital to shoreline communities as natural buffers against storm surges and increasing threats of global climate change with rising sea levels. Fish flock to mangroves as it's a great nursing place for the fish. Here we can see the eggs of some kind of creature. The mangroves is a very good breeding spot for all kinds of fish, from 1 inch fish to 10 inch sharks. This offers great protection for the small fish from predators. Mangroves may help fight coral bleaching. Young corals grow among the mangrove roots and healthy mangrove forests could provide shelter for coral species at the risk of extinction from coral bleaching. This strategy to get rid of the otherwise toxic levels of salt in the water is by excreting it through their waxy leaves. Mangroves occur on the coast of 118 tropical and subtropical countries. countries. Totaling an area of roughly 137,000 square kilometres. Indonesia has the largest amount of mangrove coverage in the world, totaling an area of 23,000 square kilometres which is more than twice the size of Jamaica. Mangroves require the perfect amount of seawater, too little and they dry out, too much and they drown. Nature's slowest animal is the sloth. The sloth feeds on mangrove leaves. The long claws make it hard for them to walk on land so they prefer to climb on trees. A sloth spends 90% of its life hanging upside down. Studies show that this is made possible because their organs are attached to their rib cage, so their lung does not get squashed. Mangroves store more carbon than terrestrial forests. A patch of mangroves could absorb as much as 10 times the carbon of the same size patch of terrestrial forests. In Thailand, Mexico and Indonesia, mangroves are often cut down to make room for temporary shrimp pens. But once the pens have been removed, the bio-waste that have been left there is too toxic for most forms of life. By protecting mangroves, we can help protect the future of our planet. If you like our videos and would like to support us, please take a look at our Patreon page. The link is in the text below. Your support will help us buy better recording and editing equipment and will also help us continue on our adventure.